here we have three variables one is BBR CBR and IBR I'm opening all the variables one by one sorry I'm opening all the variables so, uh, that I'd like to open okay I'm opening BBR, CBR, IBR I'm sorry creating some problems okay opening all the variables as a group you can see the variables BBR, CBR, IBR and this one is the time series data from the day one until until day 350 days the data are available you can see all the data here so yeah all the data and our target uh, to develop Johansen test of co-integration and also our target to develop vector error correction model using these three variables such as BBR, CBR and IBR so So, but uh, but but uh, Johansen test of co-integration needs the number of lags. Johansen test of co-integration needs the number of lag to be used, or uh, in uh, or in the in the Johansen test we must put we must put the the optimum number of lag and also VCA model also in the vector error correction model we must put also the optimum optimum number of lags so here uh, our target is to find out the optimum number of lags that can be used in the Johnson test of co-integration and also vector error correction model okay now the question is that how to choose the number of lags okay first I go to quick then I go to estimate var then here I put our all three variables such as BBR then CBR then IBR so here are the three variables from here right so this is the time series data and here out of two I choose the first one what is the first one unrestricted var that I choose and here I choose lag 2 for the time being so lag 2 so that I choose so so now I can run the uh, var model that means unrestricted var not VECM here I am running unrestricted var 
okay and having two lakhs right var having two lakhs that I am running now so the result has come up of the var model you can see the dependent variable and these are all independent variable and here is the dependent variable and all independent variables this one is the another dependent variable and these are all independent variables are here so this model actually uh, 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 this model actually is a system equation model the var model actually this one is the system equation model because here there are three dependent variables so vector auto regression estimate or system equation model okay from here from here we can choose the number of lakhs that can be used in the Johansen test of co-integration and also in the vector error correction model because Johansen test of co-integration and vector error correction model so both the model actually system equation model and this model that means uh, th this model also system equation model so we can choose the lag from our this model okay how to choose the lag I go to view then I choose the lag structure then I choose the lag length criteria okay then I press ok ok here lags to include suppose I include 8 lags I choose 8 lakhs so and okay then uh, I see after choosing 8 lakhs then we decide how many lakhs we should choose finally I press ok so this is the outcome var lag order selection criteria and here are many criteria to choose the lags maximum number of lags the first criteria is the LR okay first one I choose the star what does mean by star star indicates lag order selected by the by the criteria that means star is the target the, the star means the number of lakhs we should choose that is the star okay and as I told there are many criteria one is LR which is this one and second criteria is the FP which is this one third criteria is the AIC which is this one F fourth criteria is the SC which is this one and the last criteria is the HQ which is this one so here are six criteria to choose the number of lags that can be used in the system equation. 
so and the Johansen test of co-integration and vector error correction model are also system equation okay first I look the LR criteria so so where is the star star is here you can see the star that means according to the LR LR criteria we should use maximum 7 lakhs we should use 7 lakhs okay then what about FP criteria according to the FPE criteria uh, the star is here meaning that also 7 lakhs should be used in the system equation model then final then the AIC criteria okay uh, and so the so here according to the AIC criteria lower the value better the model and here this one is the lowest value right so and you can also see the star here so according to the AIC criteria 7 lakh should be used then we go to SC criteria so these are uh, 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 these are all the value and here also the same guideline lower the value and better the model so here this one is the lowest value right that means the negative sign that one is the lowest right you can see lowest and also star here so meaning that if uh, meaning that so I I, uh, I go to left meaning that according to the according to the SC criteria we should not use any lag zero lag according to the SC criteria okay then the final one that is HQ criteria also the same study lower the value better the model and here we can see this one is the lowest value you see the minus 18.38 is the lowest is the lowest value that is why there is the star so and 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 how many lakhs I should use only one lakh only one lakh we should use uh, by the HQ criteria right only one uh, sorry only one lakh okay so what is the summary according according to the LR criteria 7 lakh FP criteria also 7 lakh AIC criteria we should use 7 lakh but according to the SC criteria we should use 0 lakh and according to the HQ criteria we should use only 1 lakh and here all the criteria is efficient all the criteria is equally good okay now the question is that which criteria we should choose that is the questions okay here we can see out of six criteria LR 
FPE and AIC. They are asking us to use the 7 lakh. So better we should use the 7 lakhs because out of 6, 3 are telling to use the 7 lakhs. So better we use the 7 lakhs, 7 lakhs in the system equation model, meaning that Johnson test of cointegration and also in the vector error correction model, we should use the 7 lakhs maximum. So meaning that, uh, uh, here, I, here I'm giving example. Uh, I go to quick estimate for so here I just put 7 lakhs 7 lakhs and I choose the vector error correction model so 7 lakhs maximum and also the same thing happens same thing happens uh, in the Johansson test I go to quick group statistics Johansson test right and here are the three variables PBR IBR and what else CBR right I put three variables then okay and here uh, yeah, here I put 7 lakhs you can see 7 lakhs and then I can run the model so uh, that is the way of lag selection for Johansson test of cointegration and vector error correction model So as I said, this one is the Johnson test of cointegration and here I am putting 7 lakhs. 